Hey guys! Today we're going to be making something a bit different. We're going to be making an encapsulated butterfly ring, so I really hope you'll enjoy. You first want to take a strip of paper in the width you want the ring, and then measure around your finger to get the right length. Cut this out from a sheet of clay in the thickness you want the ring. I used some liquid clay to close the gap and then baked. And then if you want, you can use a file to round off the edges. Next, you want to make the crystals and then bake these as well. To make the molds, I first place the pieces on a sheet of clay. I put cookie cutters around it to kind of enclose it, added some liquid clay to seal the gaps, and then baked. I then mixed and poured the mold putty, and the mold putty I used is the amazing high flex mold rubber or something like that but if you want to use normal mold putty you should be able to do so as well let it set and your molds are ready You then want to mix up your resin. For the ring itself, I mixed in some mica powder and glitter. And for the gems, I just added clear resin. You can then make the butterfly from pommel clay and you want to add this to the resin before it hardens completely but you also want to give the resin some time to thicken which is why we're not making this on forehand. For one side of the wings I added some gold leaf before picking and then for the other side I just added some of the mica powder mixed with glaze. I also added the body to one side of the wings before baking and then I glued on the other set after baking. And lastly I glued on two small pieces of black mohair. Then place it in the resin and let it set. Now I took out the pieces from the molds while they were still a bit sticky, just so that I could put them together. If you want, you can also use some glue or even resin. I then mixed up some more resin let it thicken and apply this to the ring. Add some more glitter and rhinestones, then let it set 
Adjadan.